Good morning, Sunday School. I'm Brother Charlie Grover, your Sunday School teacher for this morning, March 7, 2021. We are into the spring quarter, Unit 1, Faithful Prophet, Tal Moses, Prophet of Deliverance. The topic, following true leadership. The printed text is coming from Deuteronomy 18 chapter 15 through the 22nd verse. Let us pray. God our Father again at this hour in the morning we come, Lord God, with thanksgiving in our hearts and we do come with praise on our lips. We come, oh God, to give you thanks, oh God, for your many, many blessings, God, that you have bestowed upon each and every one, oh God. You have been so good and so kind and so merciful. Again, we just want to say thank you. We thank you, oh God, for our last night rest. We thank you for you watched over us while we slumbered and slept. We thank you, God, our Father, for waking us up this morning, starting us again out on another day. Oh, God, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, oh, God, for each and every Sunday school listener that is listening to this morning. Oh, God, we ask that you will just continue to bless us, continue to meet all of our needs according to your riches and glory. It is in Jesus Christ that we pray and for his name say, amen. Today's lesson began a new quarter of study entitled Prophet Faithful to God's Covenant. Often when people think of the prophet, they think of the prophetic books of the Old Testament. These are frequently in two major prophets, five books, and minor prophets, 12 books. There are many other prophets besides those who wrote books that are part of the Bible. Moses wrote the book of Deuteronomy 34 and 10, and there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses when the Lord knew Moses face to face. Deuteronomy 18 is the climax of the series of instruction concerning various leadership positions that would offer guidance to God's people. Uh, Deuteronomy 18, starting at that 15 verse, it says, the Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. Verses 9 through 14, Moses called the people to spiritual perfection, reminding them that the Lord forbade them to practice the way of the people of the land, God will raise up. God will raise prophets to speak truth to them, a prophet, someone who speak for another, usually a deity. Three statements were made about prophets. God will raise up first. He must come from them. He must be one of their brothers or family members. Second, 
the prophet will be like Moses, third, someone who the people will listen and obey. Verse 16, according to all that thou desire of the Lord, thy God, in Horeb, in the day of the assembly, saying, let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, neither let me see the great fire anymore that I die not. The people were afraid to hear God again. They wanted to hear Moses. This promise of the coming prophet was rooted in a request made by the Israelite when God spoke to them at Horeb, another name for Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai. After God spoke, the people expressed extreme fear at hearing the voice of God in that terrified setting. They pleaded with Moses to speak to them instead to have the Lord to do so, lest they die. Verse 17, and the Lord said unto me, they have well spoken that which they have spoken. This further summarized what the Lord said to Moses at Mount Sinai. Deuteronomy 5, 27 and 28. Because of the people legitimately fear the Lord, Moses continued to serve as a mediator between God and the people. Verse 18, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and I will put my word in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. While this verse clearly anticipates Joshua, Rose in Israel, the Lord also pointed to spiritual leadership. Words of obedience does not follow. Then one has not truly listened. The price for rejecting the Lord's word is great. He will call the disobedient person to an account. The most extreme for God's judgment for failing to hear and obey came in of the Assyrian and Babylonian exile. Verse 20, that but the prophet which shall Presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other God. Even that prophet shall die. Those who presume to speak for God without being commanded to do so, a false prophet, Matthew 5 and 15. Moses gave God's people two tests to use in determine whether a person claimed to be a prophet 
of the law was legitimate. First, verify the content of the alleged prophet message was consistent with the previously revealed word of the law. The second criteria is seen in the phrase, speak in the manner of other God. To do so constituted a clear violation of the first commandment, Exodus 20 and three. The same test was outlined by Moses in Deuteronomy 13, one through five. Verse 21, and thou, and if thou say in thine heart, how shall we know that the word which the Lord had not spoken? The question poses here, and the accompanying answer in verse 22, Moses had previously told the Israelites that they were not to listen to or hearken to prophets who preach in the name of other gods. How shall we know the word which he, the Lord, had not spoken? Moses give the answer in verse 22, verse 22, when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the things follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord had not spoken. But the prophet has spoken it presumptuously, shall not be afraid of him, although it would take some time and patience, the people could always recognize a false prophet. If the things spoken in the name of the Lord does not come to pass, it is important to add that just because an individual prediction does come true, does not in at all itself validate that person as a true prophet. The Lord, any message that is contrary to the revealed and written word of God, is to be rejected. The message is not from God. Be not afraid of him. Do not fear another human being. It is our fear for the Lord that caused us not to fear anything else, especially false prophets. The great challenge for the church of the 21st century is rising to the divine call. We are summoned by God to be watchmen on the wall, calling the world to repentance. Revelation 22, verse 18 and 19. For I testify unto every man that heareth the word of this prophecy, of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall himself add the plague that are written in this book. Verse 19, and if any man shall take away from the word of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out 
of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. This brings our Sunday school lesson to a close. Let us pray once again. God, our Father, again, we just want to say thank you again for your blessing. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Above all, dear God, we thank you for Jesus who died for our sin and rose, oh God, for our justification. We thank you, oh God, for all that you have done, all that you're doing, and all that you will do. Lord, we give you praise, we give you thank, and we give you glory. It is in Jesus' name that we pray, oh God, and for his name's sake, amen.